Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you where you can find all the Law Stanger in Hellblade 2. Now the first Law Stanger you're going to find is going to be right here in the first 5 minutes of the game. Once you pass the ledge that you have to show me across you'll see the symbol and you can just go ahead and come through here. The voices in your head will be talking about discovering symbols in the world. Once you walk past this guy laying over here, you should see your first Law Stanger. Now all you need to do is just focus on it and it should collect it. Now the second Law Stanger is going to be found at the beginning of the second chapter which is this area right here where you have this guy captive. Now you're wanting to go over here to the left by this hut and you're going to keep following along the path. You'll see that when you get to this area you'll see that the pillar is standing right here at the back and obviously once you get to the pillar you can then focus on the pillar. Now you can actually keep track of all the ones you collect because as you see once you collect it it then appears red on top of the symbols now the game also has a feature to replay missions so you can always come back and collect the symbols you've missed but that is the second law stanger now the next law stanger is going to be found just after you pass the bridge once you complete the symbol in the second chapter now once you're in this house you're going to want to take a right to exit the building and then after exiting the building you're going to take a left just by these fences right over here once you're past the fences you're going to continue going on the left hand side and then you're going to take another left where these logs are and you're going to crouch beneath the logs to get past once you get past you then should come to the law stand here right over here and then you can go ahead and focus on it to get your third one now the fourth law stand here is going to be found in chapter two at the draga ceremony checkpoint so once you sidestep your way across the path you're going to come to this area now you actually cannot miss this path as it's a part of the story and you have to follow it but you're just going to follow along through until you get to this area with the flames now once you get to this flame you're going to actually take a left and it's actually quite hard to see but there's a ladder here and you're going to take that ladder and then climb all the way up and then you'll see you'll need to follow the flames and once you get past this area you can obviously use your sprint button to jog a bit faster because the movement in this game is a bit slow but once you get to this area you should see the law stand here and you can go ahead and collect your fourth law stand here. Now the fifth law stanger is going to be found right past the broken bridge once you walk down the path with the stranger. Now you'll come to the section where you'll see the symbol on the rock with the little spike on it. You're going to take a left instead of going down following the stranger and you'll see that once you take the left you'll follow along this path which is only a one way path. So you'll see that once you get beneath this area past these rocks the law stanger will be here and you can go ahead and focus on it just like that now the sixth law stanger can be found in chapter three at the checkpoint the red hills once you walk down the path you'll see these broken buildings and the rock with the symbol on it and the stick you're going to take a left and you're going to go to the right hand side of this broken building right over here so once you pass it you're then going to go to the right just like this like i'm doing right now and then you'll go ahead through this path and you'll see that to the right in this little you know gap between the rocks here you'll see the law stanger and you can go ahead and collect your next symbol so the next law stanger is going to be found at the chapter three on the hill checkpoint now you'll talk with this guy right over here and once you are back into the gameplay side of things what you want to do is head back to almost past where the hole is that you came up from when you passed the um giant now what you want to do is you just want to keep going all the way back here's the hole and you want to go past you'll see this like wooden contraption right there and you're just going to keep following along this path now it is quite a long path the law stand here is going to be you're just up ahead now it is a one-way path so once you get to this point you're going to take a left and you'll see that it's right up over here and then you can go ahead and then focus and collect that law stand gear now the next law stand gear that you're going to get is going to be past the first puzzle that you do that changes your perspective with the balls that you need to collect once you're on this path you would have seen that the face is here off to the right now what you need to do is actually keep going straight ahead and you'll see that at some point there is the law stand gear but we obviously can't climb there so you're going to come just ahead over here 
and you're going to climb this ledge. Once you're past the ledge, you're going to take a left and you'll see that there's going to be a gap in between those rocks that you need to go through. And then once you get through there, you will be able to directly access the law stand here. And you'll see that here it is right over here. And then you can go ahead and focus on it to get your next symbol. Now the next law stand we are going to get is going to be in chapter 3. Right after you complete the second pedestal puzzle you would have come down these rocks right over here and you're going to follow along this path until you get to the little rock over here that's just ahead and you'll see that to the left there is going to be a path as you can see right over here now all you need to do is squeeze through the rocks and you might have seen the law stand here already but you'll just need to climb up these little ledges and you'll see that it is going to be to the left right over there as you can see here it is and then once you get close enough you can of course focus and collect that symbol now the next law stand gear you are going to find is going to be just ahead of where the previous one was so instead of taking a left over there you're going to go straight now do not go all the way to the end as this will end this part of the chapter what you want to do is instead of going straight you're going to take a right in this little tunnel over here once you exit the tunnel you'll see this ledge that you can climb up on and you'll see the law stand gear right ahead and then once you get close enough you can go ahead and focus to collect your next symbol so the next law stand gear you're going to get is going to be in the third pedestal puzzle of chapter three which is in this area right here by the lake once you're in this area you must only put two of the magic balls onto the pedestals do not put the third one there yet just yet but what you essentially need to do is come to this water orb here and you need to make sure that when you do this water orb you'll get attacked the first time so you'll have to fight these enemies but once you do that make sure that the rocks at the bottom are at the top so focus on it and make sure that the rock formation is at the top once that is done then you're going to go to the second orb here in the middle once you're at the second orb in the middle, you'll see it's highlighting that platform there. You need to then focus uh, on this water orb to make the platform go to the bottom. So once you have done the second and third orb, like I showed you, you need to then come along this path right over here. So this orb above is going to allow us to actually get to the bottom. And then the orb over here, this created this specific path in order to get to the other side now you'll see that there is the third pedestal and when you come to the side here here is where the law stand gear will be and then you can just go ahead and focus so you actually don't need to touch this first one at all now the next law stand gear you're going to find is going to be in chapter four at the beginning when you enter the cave now you would have seen the face to your left once you jump down the ledge and come into this big area with the very low ceiling but once you head forward you should follow the path this is the only path you can take going ahead to proceed through the level so you're just going to keep going straight until you get to the bottom where you'll see that there will be puddles and water in the cave once you have reached the bottom where the puddle is as you can see here this is the only path you can follow so you can't miss it once you get to this puddle you're gonna go to the right just over here and you'll see that there is going to be a ledge that you can climb once you climb the ledge, you should see the law stand gear right here, and then you can go ahead and collect the next symbol. Now, the next law stand gear you're going to find is going to be in this area after you have completed the puzzle. Now, you would have come into this water area where you needed to swim through the gap. But once you have completed this puzzle, you're going to cross the bridge that you have created and go through the exit over here of the area. Once you are entering this exit you want to keep going straight and you'll see that at some point the cave is going to have a massive opening to the right as you can see to the right you won't notice it but you can actually jump down this ledge and you can then cross over this bridge to get to the law stand here and then you can go ahead and focus on it in order to collect your next symbol now after exiting the very dark cave following the hidden folk light you get to the end of the cave where you'll see the floating rocks you want to come down the path and you'll see that you'll exit a tunnel you're then going to fall down the ledge and you're going to proceed straight ahead once you get to almost the end of the path instead of taking a left there you're going to take a right and take this hidden path right through here and you should get the law stand gear symbol right over here now the next law stand gear you're going to find is going to be located right there above the waterfall. Now it is going to be in chapter 5 
and the checkpoint is to the sea so once you pass that waterfall where the face is you're going to go up the hill following the main path you're going to actually take a right instead of going straight and you're going to follow along through this path until you get to where the waterfall actually is once you're by the actual waterfall you're going to look into the stream and you're going to follow the stream to the cliff here and then here is where you need to focus and collect your symbol so the next lawstone you're going to find is going to be in chapter 5 in this mossy area. Now it takes quite a long bit to get to this place but for a point of reference you want to come to this area where it's kind of open and you see this middle rock and this ledge between these two boulders. Now once you are here you should be able to see the lawstone right there and what you want to do is instead of following her you're going to take a right over here and you'll see that once you follow along the path there will be a tunnel that you'll need to take. And you'll need to just go underneath it and then you can see that right ahead of us is the law stone and obviously when you get close enough you can then go ahead and focus on the law stone in order to get the symbol now the next law stanger you're going to get is going to be in the shipwreck area now in order to get this one you have to have activated the puzzle symbol activity and then once that is activated you're going to come backwards from where you came and you're going to go to this first ledge then when you're on this first ledge you're going to go across the rainbow rocks right over here and then you'll see that the water is going to be here for you to focus on and once you focus on that the path right in front of you is going to open up then you can just follow along and keep going ahead and you'll see that on the other side over here you're then going to climb down this area now do not activate this water right over here just keep going along and you'll see that there's going to be a bridge missing here what you want to do is go through here this is the reason you don't activate the water so that you can actually get through and then you're going to go through this little crevice in the rocks once you're through you're just going to continue through the tunnel right over here and you'll see that once you get to the end you're going to then take a right instead of the left and you'll see that on the other side of the shrug is going to be the law stanger and then you can go ahead and focus on it to collect your next symbol now the 18th and final law stanger you're going to find will be in chapter 5 at the checkpoint another question now you'll see that once you have passed the previous law stanger where you need to open the door you'll come to this area where the lights are now what you're going to do is continue going straight all the way to the end past this building and this little shed area once you get past here you're going to come at this two-way split you're going to take the left so you're not going to go where the fire lights are you're going to take a left and you're going to go up this area almost in like a curve air shape and you're going to see the law sangya right over here and this will be your final law sangya to collect it's been zach from the concon channel i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching